Let's take a look at how to send an email from within PowerShell by using the send mail message commandlet. I have these variables up here defined which will be plugged into the parameters. So first off I have my email which is the email that I'm going to use to authenticate with the SMTP server. I have the SMTP server listed here. I'm going to be using Gmails. Uh, if you have uh, access to your ISPs or your company's SMTP, you can use those as well. I have the email that I'm sending it to. I have the subject, bro. I've got the body, what up, Mr. PowerScripts? And then I've got a creds variable, which I will be passing the credentials to. I've put the my email here so that when it pops up asking for the info, I only have to enter in the password. The email will already be filled out. So let's take a look at the parameters section here. I have the to, I have my email, which is from, I have the subject, I have the body, I have the SMTP server. If you look at the help uh, files for this command, you'll see that SMTP server is not a required parameter. Well, why would they not require it? You need the server to be able to send the email, right? If you look down here, I have a thing listed. PS email server is a variable inside PowerShell that you can pre-configure and the commandlet will use it by default. You'll see that it's not configured here. You can put it in your profile and say PS email server is equal to whatever SMTP server you would use and then you don't need to use the SMTP server parameter. So that's just a nifty little bit to know. I have the creds that it will be supplied to the server. Now, because I'm using Gmail's SMTP server, I have to use SSL, and they have a specific uh, SS SSL SMTP port, which is 587, and I think there's another one. There's also a parameter for delivery notification options, and I've set it to never. There's a couple of different settings. You can set it to none. You have on success, so notify if the, del the delivery is successful. On failure, notify if the delivery is unsuccessful. Delay, notify if the d delivery is delayed. And never. So I have it set to never. But that's all the basic stuff that I need to be able to send an email from the Gmail SMTP server. In your situation, you may need more, you may need less. So let's take a look at the script in action here. I'm going to run it. It's going to ask me for the password. I already have the email filled out. Hit OK, and then let's swap over to my Gmail. And there should be another one after this one coming any moment now. Any moment now. Let's hit refresh. Oh, there we go. OK, now it showed up. So this is the email I sent. Bro, what up, Mr. Power Scripts? So that's it. Using this commandlet, you can very easily send an email from within PowerShell. Uh, you can even add attachments. There's an attachment parameter as well, but I didn't need to go into that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.